Uh, I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK and I decided to do this video in memory, I guess, of Caroline Flack. Now a lot of people have been asking me why I do videos on Love Island and it's a load of rubbish and it's just young people and it's a load of crap. No, it's not a load of crap. Caroline Flack was the presenter on Love Island and she committed suicide on Saturday, the 15th of February, the day after Valentine's Day. Now, Caroline Flack, she was, I, I don't know how many of you know, but she was um, accused of assaulting her boyfriend. And there was all this hoo-ha about um, men assaulting women, domestic violence versus women assaulting men with domestic violence and whether or not they should be treated the same way. Now, we do not know whether or not those allegations were true whether or not, because apparently he withdrew it and a lot of stuff. But Caroline Flack, um, I didn't even associate her with so, so much of her um, celebrity past, but she was an actress. She appeared in Bo Selector. Um, she was, the you know, in Extra Factor. She uh, performed with, well, not performed, she co-hosted with Ollie Mers. I didn't even um, connect the two. She won the 12th series of um, Strictly Come Dancing in 2014, apparently the only dancer to ever get consecutive top marks of 10. And then she started presenting on Love Island 2015. Now, Caroline Flack was that person that the Islanders, the Islanders dreaded. You would hear the music and she would stomp in and you knew that she was either going to get someone out or she was going to bring someone in. But regardless, her presence was kind of received with a sense of dread. And I don't think anybody can capture that moment as she does as she walks into the villa. Now, what is sad is that with great responsibility, comes risk and a lot of people are made celebrities and I don't know if they receive counselling but it's not easy. I don't think Love Island should be blamed for this. I believe it's an individual thing and I believe if anybody is to receive the blame it's the media who hound, who interfere, who, you know, who, who, who um, what you call it, they, um, Oh, well, they stalk people. Now, she was supposed to have her, the trial started this week, I believe, into the assault. And she probably couldn't take it. She was on 1.2 million a year for just appearing maybe a couple of times or once, once a week on Love Island. I don't know if she did anything else apart from that to get 1.2 million. But what I'm saying is that when that salary is taken away and she was suspended, I don't know if she was suspended with pay, but regardless, when that high, that hype has um, brought you up so high and then it's taken away and you fall so low, apparently she was so looking to going looking forward to be going to South Africa then not only and that is because they she pulled out sorry I'm mumbling I'm thinking about getting to work but sorry um that is because she because of the case that was around her she had to step down from Love Island which mean which meant her dream to be going to South Africa just fell by the wayside now, I normally do Love Island, but Love Island, um, the unseen bits was not aired on Saturday and nor was it aired yesterday out of respect. May Caroline Flack rest in peace. The thing is with Love Island, it shows people. I think why I'm interested in it is because it shows people's flaws. It also shows what works and what doesn't work in relationships. And I think when people are watching it, there are elements of it that they can identify with. And yes, it's far, it's far removed from my um, videos on immigration and deportation and, 
universal credit is far removed from that, but it's still a part of life. And life has to have balance. It cannot all be serious. It cannot all be about the negative aspects of life. We have to have some joy. And it's such, it's so sad that Caroline Flack, along with Muggy Mike or Mike Thessalonius, you know, who both committed suicide. I know there was another girl that committed suicide. It's got nothing to do with Love Island. Love Island gives them a platform. It gives them a foundation to become a bit more than who they were when they started. And it's the media that creates the celebrity status. It's the media who brings people up and knocks people down. So now they're saying in the media, oh, there's um, Long Island, Love Island has got a lot to answer for. Why? All they're doing is showing us people who are navigating the road to love. That is what they are showing us. And each one teaches one. We see the codependence in these relationships. We see the narcissism in these relationships. We see those who have been damaged in the relationships. We see those who are frightened to take steps forward. We see those who have been rejected. We see those who have been accepted. It's all a part of life. And when we watch Love Island, each one of us connects with one of those people in the villa. Each one of us has seen or met one of those guys in the villa. Whether they're nice, whether they're bastards, whatever it is, we all connect with one of the women or one of the men, regardless of our ages. Um, I just wanted to... Um, yeah, I think, I think I'm not going to belabor the point too much because this is just really to bring Caroline Flack for those of you who didn't know her. It's funny because one of my um, regular, one of my regular subscribers said they'd never even heard of Love Island until I started talking about it on this show. Well, not on this show, but on my channel. And I did want to bring a lighter side of myself to my subscribers because I do have, I do like to have balance, work-life balance and a little bit of light-heartedness and a little bit of seriousness. I think it's really important to share all aspects of life and I try to do that when I can. So um, our condolences go out to Caroline Flack and her family. Her boyfriend must be devastated. Um, we just don't know what we say to people and what we do do um, that will affect we don't even know how vulnerable people are you know because people go around with a mask on people go around with oh everything's all right and so with Caroline Flack we I mean we're not necessarily us because she wasn't in our limelight but in the media with the producers they don't know what she's going through and the thing is is that people tend to judge others as they do themselves and because if they're strong they believe another person is strong because they haven't got anything to gauge it with so with Caroline Flack I don't know how she was I don't know if she was interviewed I don't know how she was because the last time we saw her was she put this Instagram on of kissing her poodle or her dog on Valentine's Day and she looked so beautiful she dyed her hair and everything and it's amazing how the people who tend to die are so happy or appear so happy moments before so um, it is a shame that people don't feel as though they can face the challenges because everything is brought in our lives to teach us something. And when we are lifted up, it is teaching us to remain humble, is to keep, is to teach us to remain grounded. Because if you get too high, when you're brought down, you can't cope. So you need to be grounded all the time. You can't forget. When people say don't forget where you come from, what they really mean is don't forget to be grounded 
always try to imagine if all this is taken away, how will I feel? I always think that if I was, if I became rich, I would like to think that I would remain in a, an environment and a status where even if all my money went, I'm not going to live a life where if it was all taken away, I'm going to be in debt, I'm going to um, come down with a bang. I'd like to think that I would just, okay, maybe, you know, pay off the 50% of my mortgage or whatever it is. I would do, do things like that, but not live in a big mansion that God forbid something was to happen. I lose, so you lose that status. So we have to keep grounded. We have to be sensitive. We have to be empathetic. A lot of us, we see celebrities and we poo poo them and we, we either we're envious of them or whatever. And we kind of think, oh, well, they've got it all. They've got nothing to worry about. They're driving in these cars. They're wearing expensive clothes. But we're all human. We're all human and we're all vulnerable. And we all seek for stability. Remember Maslow's hierarchy of needs. We all want that love and that security and that validation. And when that is taken away, it can leave us feeling devastated. Money cannot compensate for validation, respect and love. Anyway, that's all I've got to say, peeps. Have a wonderful day and speak to you soon. Bye bye.